I think today was kind of lukewarm. Not, it didn't fire me up that much. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't bad, but it, I don't know if it was championship level. To be honest with you, um, energy level wasn't quite what I'd seen it uh, to this point. But you know, we got uh, Thursday, Friday this week to get back on track in that regard. Um, I think they were trying to go. I just think their en the energy level wasn't quite the same. The adrenaline wasn't, qu wasn't quite the same as the first day of pads. So. Uh, I think that's probably what it was, but still, we we got to fight through those kind of days and and make sure we're we're playing it, we're practicing at, at a level that's going to allow us to be a great team. So I'm not sure we did that today. Well, like today, when we went three on three, it, it pretty much went the way it went uh, Saturday, where the offense won our three on three drill. Which you know, I don't know if any one of the, either side of the ball has a true advantage, but um, but it was very very close. And then the defense won the inside drill. Those are the two drills we're tackling, and we're keeping score right now. And um, but I think the offense closed the gap. Offense did close the gap on the inside drill on Saturday. The defense dominated inside drill. This time it was a little bit closer, but the defense did win. Um, gain of identity. Um, something we lost in the second half of the um, last year. We lost our our toughness, our edge, and uh, just grabbing a, a different identity rather than giving up a lot of points and stuff like that. Um, that's cute. Play with a different mindset. Um, just playing at a different different speed than we did last year. Um, being more vocal. I mean, that's something we lacked last year. Uh, not a lot of vocal guys. And, uh, a lot of us are talking more, not even from linebacker position, but from everywhere. Um, just have guys talking everywhere and gives everybody else um, a little more confidence in what they do. I'm very excited. I'm just trying to focus on little things, just trying to get in the greatest shape I can be in and just help my team win. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to make it get popular. I'm just uh, kind of running out of ideas to write about. I just need to, I'm trying to find a, how can I make like a question of the day and just ask the questions from different uh, pe different followers and people that read the blog. I wish I can. I mean, I just got to get a camera and a mic and, uh, and upload it on the computer, then I'll, I'll do it. Uh, I know our defensive line, we're, we're working hard with Gene Atkins right there. See him, Gene Atkins. This the guy caught in the touchdown, interception touchdown pass there in practice. You got Kate West, he's doing a hell of a job. And uh, D'Angelo Tyson, Brandon Whelan, and Ricardo Crawford. I mean, they're doing a tremendous job up front. Uh, I mean, I'm, my thing right now, I just think I'm a big hype man. I'm just trying to hype my team up like Puffy did Biggie. I'm the biggest hype man there is right now. Uh, I mean, we, 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 we didn't have the season that we wanted to have, but we played pretty well. But on defense side of the ball, you know, Joe's always been been known like to have a great defense. So, I mean, basically we just want to get back to playing hard in those football and, and just scrapping on defense side of the ball and just, just rattling around the ball. We just want 11 guys just, just running and hustling to the ball. Uh, can you just talk a little bit about the way that y'all come out this spring? Coach Rick talked about how y'all are really the, the unit you know, compared to offense that has, has made the most strides so far this spring. Do you feel that way? And, and if so, can you just talk a, a little bit about you know, how y'all plan on uh, continuing to improve throughout the spring? Uh, as far as what, the defense? The defense, uh-huh. Uh, yeah, we just really just, like I said, just be hustling. Like everybody, we just ha have 11 guys just running around having fun, I mean, and playing hard-nosed hard nose football like, like George has always been known for. I mean, when, when you have 11 guys having fun and know what they doing it and just hustling to the ball, it, 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 make, it makes up for a lot of things. Uh, probably just film room. I want to get in the film room and, and, and just get better. And I mean, it, it's a lot that, it, it's always room for improvement. I, I feel it's a lot. My overall game, I just I just want to work on a lot, but but most most importantly, I just want to get in the film room and, and break down film and just, just know my opponents. Easy, you know, after that bowl game, I felt like we learned a lot of what it takes to, to make us a great defense and a lot of things that, that's going to make us great in, in this upcoming season. You know, having that consistency, having um, everybody just on the same page and, you know, having everybody flying to the ball, really. So those are things we learned. And those are things we've been planning on using to make us the best defense possible. And I'm really just trying to encourage the guys, trying to make sure, you know, we're all on the same page, you know, trying to help the young guys out. You know, I, um, that's, that's the... 
place I was at before, you know, I know how that is, being a freshman and everything like that. So just really trying to help the guys make sure we're all in in game tempo, you know, no matter what drill we're doing, that we're all flying to the ball every play and just being consistent as a D. I feel like, you know, that I got to improve in every area, you know, getting off blocks, you know, um, just being more violent um, in my tackling and everything like that, just really perfecting. Um, every aspect of being a linebacker, my pass drops, you know, I, I feel like there's work that I can do everywhere. And it starts, you know, in, in the film room, in the, um, you know, in the weight room, everything like that. So we do, I mean, we have great guys all around, um, including the young guys who just all want to do things right. And it, for me, it just seems like everybody's buying into what, you know, not only Coach Rick is saying, but, you know, Coach Martinez and the rest of the coaches are saying everybody's, you know, trying to find their way onto the field, you know, um, and, and just trying to do the right things. And that's what we need, guys that are committed, you know, on and off the field.